Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week I'm doing some repairs to a walking cane. See you in a minute. Now I've got a bit of a strange repair job in today in the shed. It's something that was brought to men in sheds the other day by one of my buddies down there. And he started to do it and unfortunately was taken ill um, during the day and didn't get a chance to get on with it and he's, he's off away from the shed at the moment. So I thought I'd take the liberty of finishing it off for him. Um, I think it's, I don't know whether it's a friend or a family, but it's obviously an heirloom of some sort. It's an old walking stick which had broken. It's already had one repair. There's a metal sleeve that goes in from there to there. It looks like it's ebonite or something. I don't know. It's almost like a plasticky sort of... I don't know whether it's ebonite or whether it is timber. I'm not sure. He'd, he'd made a start on getting it down in diameter to fit into that ferrule. But it's, it's very old, I think. It has a date on it of 1883 and some initials. So I think it, it deserves a little bit of TLC and, and uh, respect in, in that it's aged and quite nice. It doesn't want to be over restored I don't think but it could do with the, the metal sleeve just tidying up a bit. There's a brass I think ferrule on the bottom and again I'm not going to polish everything up within an inch of its life but there is a silver thing at the neck it's actually hallmarked I think so rather than make a you know make it all jazzed up I just want to tidy it up and, and do this this end now he'd started trying to file it down and I think that's probably not going to be very easy to get it sorted um, and to get that down to that diameter that's needed I think what I'm going to do is to run it through the router table um, if I put the fence tight up against one side of it with a very small cutter in it sticking out um, up in into the router table itself like that. If, if I then run this in uh, over the top of it I can then start and take a very small skim off the bottom and then just slowly run it round and again if there's a stop on the end it won't go any further than we need to and that will just give me the ability to just take the very smallest amount off all the way around and then we can just come up gently tickle the um, the lift on the router so that we just get it down to the right diameter so it'll just slide in there and then we can just epoxy a new uh, epoxy the ferrule back on and I'm fortunate in that the, there's a knob on the end of it which means that it's it sort of tapers but I am fortunate in that with the router table I've got I can actually get that part hanging over the edge and still hit the router cutter so it'll it'll keep it parallel it'll keep the work parallel so we'll give it a try I think it's worth uh, as I say worth an effort I think it's the right thing to do with it okay so that's the setup I've envisaged anyway at the moment the cutter is right down below the table level the stick will only go in that far which is just to the back of the cutter or the front of the cutter edge if you like so I can't cut any further than that and I think now if I just move that in and out with that being lifted slowly as we come up with the router cutter that should give me a something that I can literally just move in and out and shave it down and it'll give me a line that's stable because of the uh, the stop being there so let's find the bar to wind the thing up and so we can do it very very gently a little bit at a time uh,
Right, so that's now at a stage where I'm reasonably happy that it will glue together nicely. I'm just getting the residue of the tape off. It was like a double-sided tape being used to mark it just so it didn't get damaged and mark the cut line, but um, it's horrible stuff to get off. But you can see, I think, from the the line on it that there's a now a proper sort of shoulder on it now that should work well with as the collar. Let's get that off and then we'll see if it goes but I think it's just about there now. It's just a nice Fit. I think it'll just need a tap. I'm not going to push it all the way in case I can't get it undone. Uh, it's ready now to get some epoxy in there and squeeze into it. And uh, once that's done, we can just clean it up and give it all. I'm su I suspect if I just clean all this bit of metalwork up and then give it a light oil or something or a, something of that, a wax perhaps should just bring it back nicely without over restoring it and as I say it's up to them then if they want to bring the silver ferrule back they can do but it's a bit of a problem with anything like that but if you take all the tarnish off it you can't put it back on in less than 100 years perhaps so it's uh, something I'll leave up to them but we're going to get some glue and we'll put that together and we're well on the way Okay, so it's time to glue this lot up now. I've got a good tight fit on this that will go together nicely. I've got to make sure when it's together that I don't get any sort of a twist or a bend in it. But at the moment, I think we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm just going to mix up a bit of five minute epoxy to locate it all together and then we can get that into the socket and from then on glue it together and it's just needing the uh, bit of a cosmetic tidy up afterwards put it all in there so it doesn't Hopefully we won't get too much squeeze out, it'll be pushing it in rather than scraping it off the other part. That's gone together nicely now. And if we roll that along a tabletop flat, that should be okay, that seems to be in line okay. So we'll just leave that now for, well, more than the five minutes. It's five minute epoxy, but it, I think they reckon um, at least 30 minutes. It's workable for five to ten minutes. And I think it's about 30 minutes and then probably a full day really to be properly dry. So we'll come back to that when it's actually properly glued and set. So the cane has now dried and set. All I really need to do now is, is clean it up and as I say I'm not going to town. I mean a proper restoration back to something near um, appearance of new would be stripping all this off and painting it black and polishing up the brass and polishing up the silver. Don't want to do that. A, because it's not mine and I, it's not my place to do that. And B, because I think it destroys some of the charm of the thing. You know, this thing has 150 years of story in it. So I'm just going to give it a light wax all the way up its length with a micro crystalline wax. That will prevent any of the the steel tube in this center section deteriorating 
it should just clean it and polish it a bit you can see the sort of dirt that's coming off it that is the dirt of years of use and then we'll just polish it up and I'm leaving it at that then I don't want to as I say over restore something that has been in someone's family for years and turns out to be an heirloom that they wanted to keep looking as it did 10 years ago so we'll just put this say I'm just using the wood turning micro crystalline wax just to get all the it just gets a layer of dirt off gives it a little bit of a shine and it preserves what's there same thing it's just pulling dirt off it really and again I could have done that with isopropyl alcohol or something but I just didn't want to get anything too aggressive on it this is just a very fine wax who knows how many hands have used this as their stick over the years there's always something slightly magical about holding something that is that old that it's got its own little history and you know that it's lasted longer than you have or ever will it's coming up nicely just got a nice shine on it now and we're getting to use up the old um, t-shirts as well so that's getting a second or third life right so there we are that is the stick repaired, preserved and tidied up slightly of that job out of the way well I think that's achieved what I wanted to and that's at least to have preserved it in its original condition but repaired it um, and hopefully that's what the uh, the person wanted that uh, that had started the repair Hope it was of interest. Look forward to seeing you next week. We'll hopefully be doing something different in the shed. I'll see you then. Bye.